one is Drew's room. Doubt I'll ever see my name on one of these. Too many chances to screw up before senior year. <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now. Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. Why does that make me sad? Elliot's mom seems nice. Lucky Dana. <laughs> Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> huh. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. Guess I'm not the only one who keeps a diary. That's not half bad. Okay. Dark. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. <laughs> Wait, are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell.
It's been so long since Elliot and I actually went to a concert together. I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but I think it'd be just as awesome over the counter. Yep, yeah. uh, definitely Drew's room. What do I do if Drew's here? Good. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? <sighs> For the love of God. Too bad I lost my release form. I was really looking forward to running all those sweaty laps. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. Bet the dinner choices are steak, or steak. We might have failed to kill you, Durgeron. But something tells me Mikey's not through. Yet. Bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. Uh, awesome. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. <laughs> Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. We might have failed to kill you, Durgeron, but something tells me Mikey's not through. Yet. <laughs> they look so happy. Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo?
I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Plenty of possible combinations here. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Look at that. More numbers. Yes! This is kind of fun. Ah. Oh. Did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here. Hey, Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so. Why? Bro. We gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Who the hell is that? No one. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Cells are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are going to kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Ugh. I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm good. Ugh. Where is it? Ugh. Please, just give me one week. Ugh. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. Ugh. 
sorry to have to do this, kid. No one steals from me. No one. Fuck. Fuck. Let me go. No. Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. Bye-bye football. Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Uh, uh, Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. I... I didn't do anything. You kept my brother safe. Drew, you need to get to the hospital. Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, no. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. <laughs> if I can find her.
of all the possible scenarios involving Victoria Chase and swords, this one is easily the least exciting. Drama teachers always seem so... <sighs> dramatic. Sup, Mr. Keaton. Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love exists? <laughs> sure, I think so. But it's a lot weirder and scarier than poets and pop songs make it out to be. <laughs> You might be surprised, my dear. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Uh -huh. Word. Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is... weird. Dig David's garden, or did David dig Doug's? After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David sports dig just David's look so uh, exhausting? Drew seems to be the captain of every Blackwell sport. Man, I hope he's okay. <laughs> Slut shaming? Sluts shame themselves. <laughs> Another witty rebuttal by VC. That's some shameless eavesdropping there, Samantha. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. Now listen to me. Nathan's dad looks like he's really laying into him. I wonder what it's about. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. But dad... When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Samantha seems pretty torn up about what happened between Nathan and his dad. Even Hayden seems super into this play. What is happening? Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand. Good lady. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, 
Sup, fair maiden. Great, uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. Hey, Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Are you kidding? Who cares if he's an asshole? Nathan's dad is a bajillionaire. I take that over poor and nice any day. Money isn't everything, Chloe. Yeah, that's what people with money keep telling me. But it's true. If you look past his money, I think you'd see that you and Nathan are actually a lot alike. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Nathan's hurt, and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? When I'm super angry, I need to let it all out. The last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. Case in point, how pissed he was when we tried to help him yesterday. If I were you, I'd give him space and wait for him to come to you. <sighs> that actually makes sense. Thanks, Chloe. If I know Steph, she must have been super excited to be the Lion of the Light Board tonight. Sucks. Boys changing tent. Thanks, but no thanks. I should find Rachel. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did Chloe Price presents Firewalk Laser Light Spectacular. Looks like Victoria has did finally pushed David's Dana garden? over the edge. Did David dig Doug's? Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Know. Or did David Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Rachel? David's garden? Oh, come on, V. You got this. You got this. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What are you two doing here? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. Just like she tried to sabotage me yesterday. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. 
And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Yeah, I guess. I mean, even if you are super lame to me all the time, I hope you don't completely suck up there. And even if you do suck, who cares? I mean, let's be real, you're not Rachel. But that's okay, because you're Victoria Chase, you know? Even if you suck. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh, that's exactly what I needed to hear. Uh, okay. Cool. Tea? For your instrument. We want you at your best tonight. Okay, V. Time to shine. Oh, Price, that was epic. You distracted her just long enough for me to slip those pills into her tea. I did. Oh, okay. I better start getting into costume before. Swing party. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Ah! Touché. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. What? Uh, uh, oh, no. Mr. Keaton, no. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please, for me. <sighs> Damn it. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. Seriously have to memorize all of this? 
Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> it wouldn't be called a makeup mirror if it wasn't supposed to have makeup all over it. Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? <laughs> when life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. Got it. The only thing worse than looking at spandex is being forced to wear it. <sighs> Looks like I'm late, as usual. Rachel thinks this is a comedy, but it's a tragedy for me. By accident most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. <gasps> oh, uh, that's you. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. I wish I could throw that at Rachel for getting me into this. Hey, I sat here yesterday. Ugh, that killed my eyes. All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. 
Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried, cried, <clears throat> hell is empty and all the devils are here. Yes. But are they, Ariel, safe? All right. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Rachel's definitely waiting for me to do something. I want to play her part. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. Well, that's pretty. I bet Steph designed it. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the aisle. In troops. Bravo. Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed, but there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way Shh. off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement ages quickly. And I fear if we set out in search of new, uh, fun, you'll tire of me. And, uh, then I'll be alone. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that in the name of liberties forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Say yes! Yes. I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. You crushed it. So 
good. You're a born thespian, my dear. I'll be chasing you down next year. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. Thanks. What the hell just happened? The strangeness of Was your story that real? Put heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho? Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! On! Uh, mm. As wicked do, as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art. I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Fresca, a freak show. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you. Where should this music be? In the air or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit, of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you? His tears run down his beard, like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands with the help of your good hands. You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. <laughs> he was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes me.
my dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your slender shoulders? <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You were... No, you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? You were literally perfect tonight. I was blown away. Yeah, I feel really awesome. If you told me this morning I'd be this happy tonight. <sighs> You've gone through so much shit today. Right now's pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night, let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but like, eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... <laughs> Why not? What about money? I thought you were a high-rolling criminal now. I've got the money I took from Drew's, but... Rachel, I feel terrible about what happened. Maybe we can give it back, or pay that Damon guy off. Yeah, maybe. We'll figure it out, Chloe. Anyway, I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money for my dad. Or should I say, hush money. <sighs> Any more questions? How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? <laughs> Maybe. It's not like I do this all the time. You'll figure it out. But you don't even know what shape it's in. I don't need to, because I know you, and I know what you're capable of. In other words, we've got transportation covered. <sighs> I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. That doesn't sound like Chloe Price. But I'm the only one my mom has left. You're right. What am I saying? She's got David now. Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you show me L.A.? Perfect. 60 degrees every night, you and me on the Santa Monica Pier, forging on food truck food, smoking up, looking at the moon shining on the waves. 
and a beautiful blonde man will sit next to us and smile at you. Yeah, okay. He'll say, I like your eyes. And I'll say, back off. She's with me. You're full of shit. <laughs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Give me a promise, in ink. Like, a contract? Nope. This is temporary. The deal is, you get it done for real. Then, I'll believe you. What if I said let's leave tonight? R really? What is this? a sign. So? What do you say? Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. And then we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. Fuck yes. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our surprise star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Thanks, but I, I was just gonna stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh, did you have other dinner plans? Dinner plans? 
I always thought dinner was something that just sort of happens. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Totally. Your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And, Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong?